Welcome to Firebase Release Notes for October, where we cover big and small releases for Firebase. We have six topics today, so let's dig in right away. First, we introduce the developer preview of Firebase phone number verification, which lets you obtain the phone number of a SIM card directly from the carrier over a secure API. No more users typing in numbers to get an SMS, just a single button tap does it all. Since it works seamlessly over both cellular and Wi-Fi, as long as the SIM is enabled and the device has an internet connection, you can get a verified phone number. We're launching a developer preview and would love for you to try it out and help us shape the future of this product. Just fill out the interest form in the description below. Next, let's dig into a few Firebase AI logic updates. We've made significant improvements to AI monitoring in Firebase AI logic. We added telemetry support for calls to the Imagine models and enabled a comprehensive dashboard view across model families, Gemini and Imagine. This gives you a complete end-to-end -end view of your multimodal applications. And we also launched support for two key insights. We added thinking tokens to IO consumption metrics for both GenKit and Firebase AI logic monitoring, giving you a complete picture of your cost. We also now displayed the reason why an inference was blocked by safety policies, providing the actionable feedback you need to build safer and more reliable features. Starting in version 12.4.0 of the Firebase Apple SDK, Firebase AI Logic now supports the Gemini Live API. This capability was previously only available for some platforms. With this release, all platforms now support the Live API. With the Live API, you can build low latency two-way interactions where you can stream audio input and output. These updates will give you the confidence you need to build, deploy, and manage production-ready AI features. Next up, we launched a brand new Firebase extension for the Gemini CLI. This new extension gives the Gemini CLI more Firebase-specific capabilities and expertise. Powered by the Firebase MCP server, it interprets natural language prompts to perform complex actions, from scaffolding new projects and configuring services to managing data in Firestore and generating boilerplate code. This significantly lowers the barrier to entry for complex operations and streamlines your workflow. Also, check out the extensions for other developer tools you might be using, such as Flutter and GenKit. Now, you can stay within your terminal to perform tasks that previously required navigating the Firebase console UI, making the entire development process faster and more intuitive. Learn more in the description below. We released the new Flutter Firebase AI Logic Sample app, enabling developers to have a streamlined way to experience the power of Gen AI and get an understanding of how features such as multimodal image and text generation work, giving you a blueprint on how to adapt these features to your apps. Starting in version 14.19.0 of the Firebase CLI, Remote Config now has new commands to list, delete, and retrieve information about experiments and rollouts. These can be helpful for automated workflows such as CI/CD. Additionally, the Remote Config REST API now supports server namespaces, allowing you to manage both client-side and server-side templates. Lastly, in the Gemini CLI version 14.20.0, we introduced the Firebase Data Connect Execute command, which can be used to run queries and mutations that you have declared in your GraphQL files. Those were all the updates we had for today. As usual, all the links mentioned in this episode are available in the description below. If you'd like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. My name is Mariah, and I'll see you in a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.